All right, let's get started with the uh, low back stretching and strengthening exercises with the over the door unit. Um, Jessica is putting two average bands that are attached to a door harness of nylon strap, um, one below her buttock and the other one underneath her arms. And we do this to incorporate a good stretch of the lower back and gluteal muscles while standing. And you'll get a little bit of the growing muscles going side to side. But we incorporate this with people who have low back pain to start rehabilitation early on uh, before the back pain is completely resolved. And the nylon strap is attached to a metal door in the back of our office, so it's very sturdy and can sustain uh, the body weight of a person. Um, or you can use a, a door that's uh, wooden, that uh, is not hollow. Now she switched to two light bands to get less tension um, instead of the average bands, which are going to give her more resistance. And she's going to go down um, with the bands attached across the lower back. And she's going to go into a pelvic tilt, uh, raise the pelvis, wiggle around to create a traction effect. And also, as she goes up, she's going to contract the gluteal muscles to strengthen uh, the buttock gluteal muscles. This is a good exercise. So it, sit, it assists the patient or person um, who has low back pain and she's just wiggling around to loosen up, uh, get some mobility in the lumbar vertebrae. And it's a simple exercise but very effective. Um, now she's going to stretch the hip, um, cross the leg over the band and you create a tractioning of the hip and push down. You get a lot of piriformis muscle here. Very good isolation to stretch the piriformis muscle while the low back is traction. Now we can do that same thing. Uh, people who are antalgic or in acute pain will place a chair underneath uh, in case they have a hard time standing. Um, and they can actually do this seated and it really stretches out the low back nicely. Of course you have to monitor that they don't fall off the chair. Um, usually I would be standing behind them holding the chair um, secure and the less pain they get the more they can stand up and do it and stretch out the lower back muscles and it creates a traction effect with one band under the arm and the other band under the buttock and the hands have to be held on the band and holding on to the band now she's going to take two light bands and crisscross them and we're going to get started on some low back strengthening exercises as she's going to sit down on the floor, place her feet up against the door with her knees bent. And she's going to go and hold on to the band and go into extension. And this activates the erector muscles of the lower back to contract. And then the band pulls her back up. So it's a nice exercise to do for people who have been through a back injury. Now she's going to go side to side, hit a little more of the quadratus lumborum muscle. Uh, and it activates. The nice thing about the bands is, you know, it's more realistic in everyday life instead of just like a machine. Now, seated on a physio ball, you can do the same thing if people can't get down on the floor. Of course, they have to be very stable and put the feet against the door so they don't roll off the ball. And the same thing, you're just going to go into extension to parallel and it activates the erector and quadratus lumborum muscles of the lower back to strengthen. And it's a simple but highly effective way to start a strengthening low back program. Now we're going to grab the light band, just one of them, and she's on her knees and she's going to activate the abdominal muscles. Well, the reason I like this is it doesn't put any tension on the lower back or stress on the low back and you can isolate the abdominal muscles and you can go side to side and get the oblique muscles and activate and strengthen some of the front core that you need in low back stability. And the repetitions vary for every person. And now she's going to place the bands uh, under the arm, both of them. These are light bands. And she's going to hold on to the bands with her knees bent and she's going to stretch side to side. It's a real nice uh, tractioning effect but yet activating the muscles at the same time. Um, we do this with the knees bent, 
if they don't have a lot of flexibility in the hamstring. And if they do have flexibility in the hamstring, you can straighten the legs and get an incredible stretch on the hamstrings and the lower back. But again, the low back and spine is being traction with the band, so it doesn't put a lot of stress on the joints. This feels great. Now she's going to take the light bands again, and the difference in the tension uh, is a lot less with the light bands than the green average bands that she started with. She put them both uh, underneath the lower back, and she's going to again go into a pelvic tilt mode, but she's going to crisscross her legs on the band, and it creates a nice traction effect, a separation uh, of the lumbar vertebrae, and you can push on the thighs uh, to get more of a traction effect. Just wiggle around, um, stretch. So it's more of a stretch of the low back and buttock muscles. And just move around what feels good. So I took the two uh, strong bands, which are blue. And I weigh 250 pounds. And I'm going to show you the same thing. Um, and it lifted me off the ground quite a bit. But it pulls the lumbar spine apart and stretches all the lower muscles in that region. It just feels incredible. Uh, it opens up the facet joints and it activates the muscles at the same time. Of course, I'm not completely upside down like an inversion table, so there's no blood rushing to my head, or minimal blood, I should say, and pushing on the thighs. There you have it.